We've got a lot of great stuff coming up this year. I have decided that 2019 will be the year of the rarity. A lot of rare G.I. Joe toys will be reviewed this year. It looks to me like Scoop is wearing a sweater vest. In 1989, this would have made him a pioneer in wearing sweater vests into battle. In military parlance, this is referred to as BSVU, or Battle Sweater Vest Uniform. Now that may sound ridiculous to you, but if you Google it, I think you will find that it doesn't exist and I just made it up. Maybe Polly died on one of those missions. Where's Polly? Give me a break. I was hungry and KFC was closed. That molded on helmet is large and wide. It has the shape of an American football. Given its shape and color and lift tickets birthplace, it really should have an OU stamped on the back of it. The Alley Viper is a figure that you wouldn't expect me to. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The zigzag lines on the Alley Viper's uniform give me the vertigo. Oh. <gasps> this is the third video in a row that's mentioned Byron. According to legend, if he's mentioned three videos in a row, he will appear. Ah! Relax, Hoodie, it's me. <sighs> Byron! Steve? What are you doing here? Since you're reviewing my favorite action figure, I thought I'd stop by to say a few words about it. Okay, that's fair enough. I don't know if I can think of enough positive things to say about the Alley Viper. You can stay, but no more startling me. And no more giving me the vertigo. You're gonna give me a heart attack. And take that ridiculous thing off! Oh, alright. There. This figure is still important because there's more to it than just the plastic. Through the lens of this figure, we can see the history of G.I. Joe. We can see the roots in the Vietnam War. We can see the likeness of Larry Hama, the person most responsible for creating the universe. When we look at the shape and the form of the figure, we are seeing the work of Bill Merkline, a master sculptor, and we are lucky to have had his contribution to to our childhood memories. A lot of what we see through the lens of this figure was brought to light by fans and researchers like the late Gary Head. We owe them all our gratitude and appreciation. It is through their efforts that we know so much more about these toys we love. Hey everybody! I always enjoy looking at Cobra Commander. This channel gets its name from Cobra Commander. We always talk about how evil and ruthless he is, but in 1991, we got a Cobra Commander that proves he has a fun side. He likes to get down, he likes to boogie, and he likes to protect his registered trademarks. In 1991, Cobra Commander was solid gold! Hello G.I. Joe fans, I am so excited for a lot of reasons. First, I'm always excited to join you every week and talk about G.I. Joe. Second, this week we get to crack open a new sub-team. Third, we get to look at something shiny, and I'm most excited about the fact that I found a new use for my old Super Trooper costume. We made it to March 2019, and next week is my birthday. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy- Oh, I forgot, I'm not allowed to sing anymore. In that case, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday dear me, happy birthday to me. from the Church of the Judas Priests. Do you know where you will go when you die? 
Are you threatening me? No. I just wanted to share the watchtower. Look, up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a fish! Hey, HCC, I gotta tell you something. You gotta watch out for that Timmer guy. I mean, I wonder what his neighbors think of him. You got this crazy guy with the mask, with the wand and bulletproof underwear, and I wonder what they think. That'd be a great interview. Timmer's neighbors. Hey, mother it's Mace Windu here, the most important guy in all of Star Wars. I almost killed that Emperor you saw. Could have prevented the whole damn war. Well, it's about time this hoodie motherfucker reviewed Mace Windu. Been a long uh, time uh, since uh, he reviewed me. Star Wars. Uh, uh, Mr. Windu? Whoa, 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 what the oh, fuck are you doing oh, sneaking oh, up on oh, me? I'm sorry. I'll uh, save oh, your oh, 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 Who the I'm hell sorry. are you? I'm sorry, Mr. Windu. I'm Oh, Why is my I'm lightsaber sorry. blue? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Windu, but uh, Mr. 788 is reviewing Mace from G.I. Joe, not, uh, not not Mace Windu from, from Star Wars. What? Motherfuck! Susan, you have to see this. I got it. I really got it. What is it? It's this. Don't you already have this? No, no, this is new. Hold on, I'll show you. This is the one I had before. They're the same. They're not the same. This one has a shovel. HCC 788 presents Destro's Dominator. It takes more than treads to make a tank. A tank needs thick armor and heavy armament. You can't just slap treads on something and call it a tank. Look, it's a ski tank. Look, it's an earth mover tank. I didn't know growing a beard and changing your hair color could transform you into a completely different person. But there's one way to find out if it's possible. I got a bottle of beard dye. The same color low light used. It is just for men. Take note, ladies. I am going to apply this to my beard and we'll just see what happens. I'm just going to put this on my beard and we're going to- No! Hello, Joe fans. It's the faceless reviewer here. It may look like I'm wearing pantyhose on my head, but that's just an illusion. I'm using hypnosis to conceal my identity. You may have thought I was HCC 788, but I was the faceless reviewer. I was the faceless reviewer the whole time and you never suspected. Just ignore any continuity to the contrary. He looks like he's wearing pantyhose on his head. But of course he isn't, because that would be ridiculous. Thanks and happy birthday, Brandon. And hey, the character we're reviewing this week is a choir singer. That's the perfect opportunity to sing happy birthday to Brandon. Everybody sing it with me. Oh, all right. In a previous video, I promised to never sing again, so I can't sing Happy Birthday to Brandon. Stop! Hammer time! Set it aside and not mess with it. So what I'm saying is, you can't touch this. I love this no smoking sticker. You can smoke anywhere else in the vehicle, just not in that seat. In fact, this is the chimney. Introducing the new 1991 Heavy Duty. No action figure gives you this extreme power. Featuring triple machine guns, dual missile launchers, bulletproof crotch armor, two-leg drive, 
official G.I. Joe head cover. When you need to deliver extreme firepower anywhere at any time, you can rely on heavy duty. Now with Green Dorito Camouflage, limited time offer, offer not good in all states or the District of Columbia, see your local toy store for details. The 1990s made great leaps forward in digital sound technology. In 1992, G.I. Joe's Talking Battle Commanders had sound players that were shrunk down to fit in a backpack that was only as large as the figure. And it could play four whole sound clips. I guess that means my backpack is running out of things to say, so we better play the theme song. G.I. Joe fans, welcome to Cobra Convergence 4. Throughout the entire month of July 2019, your favorite fan creators will come together to celebrate their enjoyment of G.I. Joe by talking about G.I. Joe's enemy, Cobra. Form BX257, half the battle, retro blasting, hoi polloi, analog toys, G.I. Joeber. This year, Cobra Convergence is bigger than ever. We will bring you Cobra-related content every single day in July. The Full Force Podcast. The Joe on Joe Podcast. SEO Toy Review. The Human Mechanism. What's on Joe Mind. Comic Tropes. More creators, more content, more Cobra Convergence. Plastic Battle. Forgotten Figure. Special Mission Force, McDowell, Codename New2 Vero 2, The Viper Pit Podcast, Justice Curry, Joe Fan 82, Sanitarium Productions, Joe Motion Videos 82, Fun School Ronnie, Tickly Yilkit, My Side of the Laundry Room, The Skull Reviews, Hooded Cobra Commander 788. Remember, only Cobra is Cobra. I thought I left something there. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, oh, they're gone! They're gone! Oh my god! Oh, 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 thank god these guys are still there. Oh, 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 oh. Susan! 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 Oh, 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 Timmer! 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 This was your plan? To destroy half of my collection? Destroy? Steve, what kind of monster do you think I am? Do you really want me to answer that? I didn't destroy anything. I stole it! And believe me, Steve, you won't be my only target. <laughs> I need help here. Form BX257. Form BX257. Kevin! Kevin! Hello? Oh, hey, buddy. I had a feeling you'd be calling. Timmer has gone mad. He has an infinity gauntlet. Oh, I guess that explains why half my collection is missing. 
Ah, yours too? This is bigger than just the two of us. It's time for a convergence. Right. Hello? Sorry, wrong number. Yeah, maybe not include him in this. Right, sorry, force of habit. It's time for the Convergence Initiative. I can't believe this. Timmer has used an infinity gauntlet to make half of my collection disappear, right in the middle of Cobra Convergence. I still need to do reviews all month, yet I have half the toys to choose from. This is a problem that may require superheroic intervention, so it can be wrapped up by the end of the month. Everybody got that? Here it is. This is the old Sears. What are we doing here? This is the place that sold all those G.I. Joe Sears exclusives. So we're here because you're feeling nostalgic? Yes. So this is where you bought the exclusives when you were a kid? Nope, not a one. My family didn't really shop at Sears. Then why are we here? This place is like G.I. Joe in a lot of ways. It has a legendary history, a legacy of success, but somewhere in the past, it lost its way. Who knows if it'll ever come back. You're reviewing another Sears exclusive this week, aren't you? Yes. Three in one month? People will complain. Don't care. Wait. This is for the cold open, isn't it? Yep, that's why I have the camera set up. This is the worst date ever. Hashtag CCIV. Hello everybody. This week we are looking at a very popular... What is that? Come with me if you want to live. I have one more idea. I'm sorry it came down to this. What? Hey, Timmer. What? Say hello to America's ass. If that isn't shocking enough, nothing is. Oh, oh, my head. What happened? Phew, you're sane again. And we're never, ever discussing what just happened ever again.
Zebra, Captain Hard Tackle here. I football. Not only do I football, I also G.I. Joe. Now you may not think that football and G.I. Joe go together, but I say you're wrong. Football and G.I. Joe go together like HGH and a protein shake. Stay tuned for the video and I'll show you how football and G.I. Joe are best buds. All right, everybody, wind sprints. Let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Hey, bruh, Captain Hard Tackle here. I football, and sometimes when I football, my junk itches. That's when I use Yojo Jock Itch Treatment. It's by the makers of Yojo Cola. Well, it is Yojo Cola, but you put it on your junk. On the wheels are really much too wide. They're much wider than they ought to be for easy assembly. It's about there, it's about there, it's about there. Oh, I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Ah! Ah! Well, there you have it, the first failed assembly video on this channel. <sighs> what a great day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. I hate sunshine and bird song, so I'm happy to be indoors. It's a fantastic day. I feel like minding my own business and not hurting anyone. This may just be the best day of my life. this but I have a brother named Eric this guy look at that yutz whenever I hear the name Eric I think of my bro hello sirs I'm hoodie a mad scientist trapped me on this spaceship the SS Lou Reed he's using me for scientific experiments by showing me silly action figures Hmm. Fortunately, I have my robot friends, Bob Sprocket and James T. Croak. Together, we can survive even the worst action figures. Right, Croak? I want to decide who lives and who dies. Can it fly? I'm outdoors to test it. I am not using my ace figure. Instead, I'm using Spider-Man. Um, I don't have any confidence that this figure will stay on that clip if this actually takes off. And I have to say right off the bat, the ripcord on this launcher is very tight. I'm not sure I can get a good pull on it, so I have a feeling this thing is not going to launch. Okay, I'm going to try to get a good pull on this, um, but it doesn't want to pull very well. So we'll see if it goes. Ready? Here it goes. It did sort of fly and Spider-Man did fall off. All right, that was actually a better flight than I expected. I'm gonna test it one more time. Spider-Man is not gonna stay on here, but I'm gonna test it one more time, see if we can get even more height out of it. Whoa! Hey! And Spider-Man actually stayed on until it landed. This isn't the only time this happened with mail-away figures. The mail-away version of Serpentor sometimes didn't come with his cape. Some mail-away keelhaul figures didn't include the pistol. That means there are fewer accessories floating around than figures. We hit 9,000 subscribers! Woo! Thank you for helping the channel reach another milestone. This means there are still a lot of people who remember and love G.I. Joe. I hope you will all find a home here. I want to thank each and every one of you 9,000 people for joining and staying with the channel. Thank you, 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 thank you. Kevin from SEO Toy Review will show us some examples of Repeater as the face of G.I. Joe. Right, Kevin? Hey, Hoodie Coco. Haha, there he is. Told you he'd be here. All this talk about repeaters reminded me of a joke from when I was a kid. Pete and Repeat are in a boat. Pete fell out. Who's left? Pete and Repeat are in a boat. Pete fell out. Who's left? Pete and Repeat are in a boat. Pete fell out. Who's left? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I have a joke. 
Peter and Repeater are sitting on a car. Peter shoots Repeater and it, oh, that doesn't work. Hello G.I. Joe fans, HCC here. This week we are reviewing the Mobile Battle Bunker, so I constructed my own Mobile Battle Bunker. I built a fortress out of sofa cushions. The soft material should protect me from anything. But how is it mobile, you ask? Move! That's how. Also known as Joe Colton. I'm here. Hi. I'm Joe Colton. Uh, uh, how did you get on the show? I am Joe Colton. We're reviewing a Joe Colton figure. But I'm Joe Colton. I'm supposed to be doing the review. At least I think I'm supposed to be doing the review. Who is better qualified to do the review than me? I'm Joe Colton. I don't know how people keep hacking into the super secret G.I. Joe communications network, but never mind that. I'm glad you're here. I can't talk about Joe Colton without talking about Joe Con, and that's something you can help with. Joe? Is that you? Oh. Beachhead Mike? Brian? What are you doing here? What the hell is happening here? I've lost control of my own show. How did you get on the super secret comms network? How did I get on it? Gary and Greg invented the G.I. Joe fan communications network before I was even a part of what's on Joe Mind. How did you get on it? Ah, I, um, uh, I just saw it lying around. Didn't see anyone using it at the time. Well, fine. Just, just don't break it. I need to check these channels more often. Joe, for the thousandth time, please remind everybody what podcast you're a regular host on. Plug the damn show. And now, a taste of things to come. Scorpion. Sub-Zero. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Flawless victory. Introducing a new G.I. Joe Action Star Cereal, the delicious new breakfast cereal, chock full of sugar to really get you going. Brian! Brian! G.I. Joe Action Star Cereal, part of a complete buffet. I'm going to work! Hello, G.I. Joe fans. It's nearly Christmas time, and you know what that means. Commies. Yes, Christmas is that time of year when we mix communism and capitalism. It's when we rush out to the stores to buy things we don't need, then we give from each according to his ability and to each according to his need. It's when we decorate everything in red, the color of the reds, and green, the color of money.